So welcome back. Today we're looking at the IZM-1 and uh, I've got Asman Wax with me here who is the creator of the ship and he's going to tell me a little bit about it. So um, before you do, I'm just going to talk about the variation in the colour which I'm seeing here which is very rare. People tend to stick with a strict colour scheme and it's really nice to see somebody using like lots of different hull colours because it really spices it up. And I think that realistically, ships would be a little bit more colourful. Um, and I love the saw blade. The saw blade's a brilliant touch. You don't find that sort of thing very often. And I think that's really nice. <laughs> like a chainsaw ship. And um, yeah, lots of really cool signs as well that have been sort of imprinted or overlaid over the hull. Um, nice antennas around the back here. Um, and take, I take it that this is part of the engines. So it's not symmetrical, it is actually different on one side. We've got a little platform here with a couple turrets. And the turret design again is quite unique. You're not, not seeing this sort of turret design anywhere really. I've not seen anything like that before. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'd like to see which way they orient. And again, more antennas. A little bit of hull uh, ornament ornaments. I like that. And uh, what's this? Is this sand? I think these are blocks of sand. Right, I'm going to have to ask you a little bit about this. Got a runway. Coming around here. Bunch more turrets. Flags. Flags are good. We don't have enough flags. Okay. And uh, writing. It looks like a couple of little rooms and some wiring down here. It's really interesting. There's a lot of detail on your ship. I want to ask you, what's the function of the ship? Does it? Uh, it's a, a run-of-the-mill mining ship. It's a mining ship, of course. So what's underneath this plex door? I'm just over here behind you. What's under here? Uh, there's a whole bunch of docks and such. Do you want to open it up? It oh, wait, what? It didn't open for me, you just sort of floated through the floor. <laughs> uh, hello? Ah, oh, oh, there we go, right, cool. We're through. So, yeah, this is a huge hangar. I like the runway as well. So, you're launching whoosh, up. Excellent. <laughs> And there's plenty of room for docking down here. It's like a proper little garage in here. And it looks like core, a core stand. I like the design of this. This is really nice. A stand. You got a multi-story parking center here. That's pretty awesome. It has too many docks that it's not safe. <laughs> So what's this room in here then? No, I don't really know. I just made it, hollowed it out. It's a corridor. You're gonna have to open the doors for me. I can't get through anywhere. Oh, out to space. Yep. Okay. And uh, what's this underneath here? Is this just an inspection hatch? Inspection. Yep. Just a little inspection corridor down there. Cool, cool. And then what are we getting up to at this end? Nothing? Or something? Nothing? No, I was actually going to put something here, but I got uh, a little bit lazy. <laughs> That's okay. The exterior detail is really good. So what kind of weapons complement are we talking here? Within the chainsaw, there's a bunch of salvagers, you know. Oh, excellent. And... You're going to have to, you're gonna have to fire those. Where's the bridge at? The bridge is uh, above here. Okay, lead the way. So, as we float along, I'll just take note that he's got a nice staircase down there, leading all the way to the top hatch. Uh, I take it this will be... Uh, I'm just going to have a quick peek in here. 
observation room and uh, AMC inspection I guess it's pretty nice Okay. Oh, and we're going to go in the top then, are we? Nice. Is this sand? Yeah. All right, nice. I, just, I was just wondering, that's all. So, which end are we going to? This end? Right, okay. Nice little docking area there. What else have we got? Another little way out. And then up the stairs. Oh, there's a room down here. What's this all about? Missile room. That's that engine room. Hey? That's that engine room. Engine room. Very nice. Uh, moving up the stairs. Aha! We have a control room. Very nice. Computers on the walls, I take it, in the red blocks. I guess. Cool. I like what you've done with the core, though. It's kind of like suspended by these prongs sweet right well doesn't look like I can well yeah it doesn't look like I like I can look in it but what I'll do is I'll go out oh no have you unfactioned it yeah okay cool so let's take a look at the stats on this. It's got 10,689 blocks, 267 meters long, and 92 meters high, 82 meters wide. It's got 268,377 total power with uh, 608,216 energy per second recharge. The thrust is 10,370. It's got a turning speed on the X of 1.1 on the Y of 1.1, on the Z of 1, and the total shields 488,000 with a recharge of 13,640 per second, and a 3 second recovery time. So yeah, there you have it. Got some really inventive use of wedges, man. Really like it really like it. This chainsaw is something else. Right, I'm going to jump out and uh, I'm going to try and find my way back to my ship. And uh, once I get there uh, ship. Where's my ship? Oh nice, more mecha. Give me more mecha. Where's my ship at? somewhere probably over the other side yeah I think it must be yep there it is All right so yeah thanks for bringing me to sh bringing me this uh, ship to show and thanks for waiting in line thanks for having me that's all right like I say the further down the line you are the longer you have to wait so it's a bit of a pain but uh, thanks for waiting Thank you. And uh, it's a really awesome ship you got here. Uh, I love the little car park you got, right? <laughs> There's some really cool features on this. And look at this claw arm. That crane's awesome. So yeah, thanks again. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing more from you and about this ship soon. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next lineup review.